In this video, I'm going to show you how we use BAM and utility classes at Cody House to create scalable CSS. All right, so let's start from BAM. BAM stands for Blocks Elements Modifier, and it's a, a CSS naming methodology uh, aimed at creating reusable components. So if we consider, for example, this header component here, we can call the main component something like header. And now uh, for any child, we should name it something like uh, name of the block underscore underscore element. So for example, if we want to target the navigation, we can call it something like header underscore underscore nav and so on. Now, if we want to target the links as well, now you don't have to name it something like header nav uh, uh, link or uh, header nav uh, link, you can just name it header link. And also you don't need to find a name for everything. You just need to target those elements that you want to modify in CSS. Uh, and then we have modifiers. So modifiers are variations of uh, elements or blocks. Now, for example, if we want to create a um, variation for a link, when uh, this is the current page, for example, we can go and create header link and now you use iPhone iPhone current. So iPhone iPhone means this is a variation of something. Uh, for example, for the header, we can have a variation of the header where, where it is uh, sticky. So we create header iPhone iPhone sticky. So you get the idea. What's the advantage of using BAM? Uh, the main advantage is low specificity. So if you look here, this is how you write classes in BAM. If you didn't use BAM, you'd probably end up with uh, um, inheritance and nesting elements, something like uh, header, link, current, and so on. And uh, this doesn't seem like a, a big deal here, but when your project grows, uh, specificity becomes a huge problem. So this is BAM. And one last point is that you can nest, you can combine BAM components. So for example, if we consider this tabs component, if we want to include a text block, let's say, uh, inside one of the panels of this tabs component, now you don't need to write necessarily something like class tabs text component. The point is, if you plan on using this text uh, component or text block uh, in other places as well, maybe you want to combine these with the other components, you can create a new component, call it just text component and use it inside another component. So it's fine because I see quite often people using um, uh, tabs in this case for uh, as a prefix for anything which is inside this component and you don't have to do that. Uh, now, if we look at utility classes, so this is something completely different. A utility class is something that does just one thing. For example, if we use the class padding medium, so padding MD, uh, we are applying a specific padding value from a scale of padding values that we have defined in our CSS. So that later on, if we want to modify this value, we can just switch from padding MD to padding LG and that's it. So utility classes are really easy to understand. Now, when should you use BAM and when should you use utility classes? So use BAM to dry the HTML from the CSS you don't plan on customizing. So we're talking about behavioral CSS, stuff like transitions, positioning, hover, fox effects, and so on. And also to create advanced animations and effects. So those unique effects that are hard to create using utility classes, if even possible. While well, use utility classes for the frequently customized properties, stuff like padding, margin, text alignment, those small changes that you need to do to a component when you are using it somewhere else uh, on your website. You don't want to create new names using the BAM uh, methodology. So, and that's why the second point here is use classes, use utility classes for elements that are hard to identify with a new meaningful class name. Because the issue with BAM is when you have to come up with too many meaningful names and it becomes a frustrating method. Uh, let me show you a real life example. So first of all, on Cody House, you have a list of, uh, in our documentation, you have a list of all the utility classes available in, uh, in our framework, Codyframe. Now, if we look at a real case example, 
we have this cut component. If we check the structure of this cut component, well, you can see we have some uh, BAM classes, for example, card, and then we have card title, and then card icon wrapper. Now, if we go over, um, over the card, you can see we are animating this icon, and uh, there is also a, a filling effect uh, on, the, on the title. So this kind of effects are really hard to create using utility classes and that's why we are targeting these elements using uh, BAM classes. And if we go to the CSS tab here, you will see that we have uh, the CSS for these effects here. So it's a unique effect. And, uh, and we don't plan on probably modifying this for variation of this component. So we have keyframes, we, have, uh, we are animating a linear gradient, that's why it's better to use BAM classes. Also, for the card class, which is the blocks in our uh, BAM component, we, have, we are including position relative, overflow hidden, the background color. So this is the stuff I don't think I will have to modify later on for this component. So when we remove that stuff from the HTML, the HTML becomes easier to read and customize. So for example, I'm using utility classes for other stuff that maybe I need to modify. For example, the radius, we can change this value from LG, which stands for large, to uh, SM, small, and the radius here will be updated. Now you can see it's way more sharp than before. We are using utility classes for the column classes of the grid, and you will see this um, if we resize the window. And if you want to change this grid, you can just change these values as well. We are using utility classes for, uh, for example, the padding of this section, the sides of the text, because instead of writing something like card underscore underscore title, and we can't even use it because we are using this class over here. So we should use something like a title wrapper maybe. And as you can see, it's becoming difficult to keep up with the naming convention. We can just use a simple text LG utility class and maybe change this if we want to modify the size of the text later on, or if I'm using this component somewhere else where I want the title to be bigger. So that's all, um, and uh, just to recap, use BAM for all the stuff you don't want to modify later on and uh, you want to hide from your structure or for the unique effects. Use utility classes for all the stuff you plan on modifying quite uh, often and or for any case where naming becomes a hassle.